A tropical storm down in the Caribbean been upgraded to a hurricane. Category 1 Franklin is sitting in the Bay of Campeche. This is the extreme southern portions of the Gulf of Mexico, likely to make landfall tomorrow. Second landfall over Mexico since it cruised across the Yucatan and looks like probably going to be downgraded to tropical depression status as it goes through the mountains there near Mexico City. It's not going to be much of a player unless it starts to make that turn back towards the northeast and that could bring us some rain late in the weekend. Meantime, we're looking for generally dry weather conditions for us for a couple of days. There's another front trying to push its way into our area. This is our future track computer model forecast prediction of what will happen over the next couple of days. I think all this stuff is going to stay along the Red River, at least north of Interstate 20. I don't see much of that making its way down into our area as we head into the weekend. So very dry, very hot conditions on the way forward. Live look from the Temple Sky Live weather camera. Bob Mills Furniture on the HK Dodge and Loop. A clear sky night after a very hot afternoon. 85 degrees, the high today in Grosbeck. Our thanks to Debbie Fulmer for checking in with us. And Robinson, Randy Vassar saw a high of 90 and 95. Uh, Italy passes this afternoon with our gratitude going out to Joe Spivey, longtime weather watcher for us. 80 degrees right now in Meridian and in Hamilton. Same thing in Goldthwait and San Saba. Looking at 80 in Waco and Temple, 83 in Georgetown, 80 in Marlin, 81 in Cameron, 77 right now in Mahia. Forecast for tonight few clouds in the sky. Other than that, it looks like it's going to be a quiet evening. 73 the overnight low with a light east wind tomorrow. Partly cloudy conditions. 96 the afternoon high with a heat index of 104. Very hot day on the way for us. So slow down in your outdoor activities. Drink plenty of fluids. Stay hydrated to beat this heat. Look at these readings. 96 in San Antonio tomorrow with about a 20% chance of showers. Better chances of rain as you head back towards the east along I-10 through Seguin and, and back over towards Gonzales and Columbus all the way to Houston. You're looking for another very rainy day across deep southeast Texas and temperatures in the low 90s. Back to the north, I-45 and I-35 up to the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. Spotty showers, but for the most part, you're looking at partly cloudy skies and temperatures getting up into the upper 90s with heat index again close to 105. There's your Channel 6 7 day forecast where your weekend's always in view. To restate 73, the overnight low tonight, 96, your afternoon high on Thursday, and light south winds, but very, very hot. Heat index is going to be close to 105, and that's getting into the danger category. We've got our Beat the Heat fan drive extended. You can help seniors beat the high cost of electricity with a donation of a box fan. Go to our website, kcntv.com, to find out more about that. Friday morning, many of the Channel 6 staff will be on hand for the Hood Howdy on Fort Hood. And, of course, we've got the big uh, Miss Falls County pageant coming up on Saturday evening where they'll be crowning a new Miss Falls County in Marlin at the high school. Looks like great weather as we go to the weekend. But after Saturday, things begin to go downhill. Looks like maybe a little, a little more rain in the forecast for us. But that will at least give us a break from the uh, heat. Yeah. I've got to get my son out there to mow the lawn soon. Can he come to my house too? <laughs> he charges, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like his old man. Yeah. We'll be right back right after this. Stay with us.